there's two main types of stroke. Ischemic strokes, which is where brain tissue dies because it's not getting enough blood and therefore not getting enough oxygen to stay alive. And this is often caused by some type of obstruction of a blood vessel. And hemorrhagic strokes, which is where a blood vessel in the brain bursts. And neither of them are particularly good because they both cause brain tissue to die off. So in this video we'll look at ischemic strokes, which actually make up about 75% of, of all strokes. And let me orient you to what this over here is. This is an underside view of the brain, just so you can get a really good look at the blood vessels that originate underneath the brain and supply it with blood. So there's three major causes of, of ischemic strokes, and we'll, we'll sort of go through each one in turns. So the first one we'll talk about is an embolism, or an embolic cause of stroke. And let me just bring in my guy here to help us out with uh, uh, visualizing. So we're looking at the underside. An embolism is some type of traveling mass in your bloodstream, and it's most often a little blood clot. So in an embolic stroke, this little blood clot will travel up to one of your cerebral arteries and get stuck and, and cut off your blood circulation to that area. So let's say it gets stuck somewhere about here. It's traveled up through the internal carotid artery and is lodged here in the, in the middle cerebral artery. And now parts of the brain served by that MCA, that middle cerebral artery, are all going to start to die off. So where would a clot come from? Well, they often come from the heart. And I know that sounds like a line from a, a Boys to Men song, but you can literally get blood clots forming within your heart. So either on the valves or within the walls of usually your left atrium or your left ventricle that then break off away from the walls of the heart, travel up to your brain, and then they get stuck, just like you see here. Where else do emboli come from? Well, you might have some cholesterol built up in one of your carotid arteries, or maybe in your basal artery, as part of a process called atherosclerosis. And from these collections of cholesterol that build up, you can have little pieces of cholesterol that sort of flick off, and just as we saw before, they sort of travel up into your brain and they get stuck. So this little piece of cholesterol has gotten stuck in one of our anterior cerebral arteries here, and so it'll choke off blood supply to the distribution of this anterior cerebral artery. So we'll have death of brain tissue on this side. And remember, the anterior cerebral artery supplies blood to some of the more midline parts of the brain. So that's the first major type of ischemic stroke. One's caused by emboli. Now another major type of ischemic stroke are ones called thrombotic strokes. So how do those happen? So it's similar to embolic strokes in that a blood vessel that supplies a part of the brain gets completely blocked, but the difference is that emboli arise away from the brain, whereas in a thrombosis, a problem actually arises in that blood vessel and it gets blocked off at that very spot. So let me show you some examples to clarify this. So we talked about how you can get some carotid atherosclerosis happening here, that buildup of a fatty cholesterol deposit inside your arterial wall. And actually, let's show it happening in the basal artery because it's a bit easier to see on the underside picture. So you get this buildup of cholesterol, and, and this is actually the most common reason for a thrombotic stroke. And eventually that cholesterol deposit is going to sort of crack open. It's going to break open, which actually causes a blood clot to form on top of it. And that blood clot can get really, really big. And so as you can see in this picture, it actually got so big that blood can't even get through this basal artery anymore. And so obviously no blood is being allowed to get through into the cerebral circulation from at least the basal artery, which will pretty quickly cause a stroke. So that's an example of a thrombotic stroke, a disruption of blood caused by a problem with that blood vessel locally. And actually this, this atherosclerosis commonly happens in this middle cerebral artery here, and of course possibly on the other side, middle cerebral artery, inside these internal carotid arteries, right as they sort of turn into the middle cerebral arteries, and in this basal artery here. So these are three key locations that atherosclerosis happens. So that's atherosclerosis, and that generally happens in larger arteries in the brain, so the ones I sort of pointed out to you already. But there's another sort of subtype of thrombotic strokes, and this one happens in primarily smaller vessels of the brain. And these are called lacunar strokes. So let's actually look at these vessels here. I'm going to just draw in a few tiny little vessels, okay? And now we'll blow one up. So that's our small vessel. 
If you have hypertension, which is long-standing high blood pressure, then the walls of these small blood vessels can't really handle the pressure and the force with which red blood cells travel through them with. Because this really high blood pressure puts a lot of strain and stress on these, these blood vessel walls. So what these blood vessels do in response is they sort of thicken up, they get a lot thicker. And so immediately you can kind of see that not very much blood is going to get through them as they start to get thicker and thicker, right? And, the, and if the high blood pressure isn't dealt with, they're just going to get thicker and thicker. And so you can imagine that now not very much blood is going to be able to get out of these blood vessels because not really that much blood can get through these blood vessels. And so what do you think might happen to the piece of brain that this blood vessel serves? Well, it's not really going to be very happy. It's not going to get much oxygen. And so it's going to die off. So that's a lacunar stroke, a small vessel stroke. You can also get tiny bits of atherosclerosis happening in these small vessels, which would block them off to some extent. But really hypertension and this wall thickening is the major cause of these lacunar strokes. So the last type of ischemic stroke I want to talk to you about is something called a watershed stroke. Now what does that mean? Well, let's just go over some basics first. The blood flow within your brain goes from inside to out, and from outside to in. So you have some redundancy there to make sure that all of this brain area is covered. It's all getting enough blood. But let's say that something happened to reduce total blood flow to your brain. So for example, if you got two large atheromas or atherosclerotic deposits in your internal carotid arteries. Okay, so not that much blood, actually really little blood is getting through up to your brain, all right? Well, the total amount of blood that's getting to your brain is going to go down, right? You'll be in a state of what we call hypoperfusion. Hypo meaning lowered, and perfusion just refers to how much blood your brain is being filled with. So as a result of all this, you're still going to have a little bit of cerebral blood flow, but you're not going to have that much, right? So we'll make these arrows a bit smaller. You'll get some blood flow on this side from outside to in, but you're not going to have as much because overall, you're getting less blood up to your brain, right? Because of these two blockages. And so what do you notice here? I'm sure you notice that there's this huge area in the middle that is not getting that blood supply from either circulation now, from, from either the inside to out or the outside to in circulation. So this area will start to die off. And actually in watershed infarcts, there's a classic pattern, almost exactly like what I'm drawing here. And so as a result of that, this area is colloquially called the watershed area. Areas where, say, this part, this half, is normally perfused by this blood supply, and this half is normally perfused by this blood supply. But when you sort of scale both blood supplies back a bit, this watershed area is prone to being damaged. And, and in this case, this person has developed a watershed stroke. So these are the three main causes of ischemic stroke. Embolism, thromboses, and watershed strokes caused by hypoperfusion.